I have wondered for ages what these solid gels are like. I am completely obsessed with using loose glitters on nails, but they do come with challenges when you're putting them into base or top gels and trying to get them to stay properly on the nail without too much bulk. So I've always wanted to know what these solid gels would be like when it comes to glitters. So if you've been curious as well and you want to take a look at what they're like, check it out. I've got some really high-end Myth Mellow to try and some really cheap AliExpress. Let's see what we got. So of course, Myth Mellow being a really high-end expensive Korean brand, these little compacts uh, in Canada, the price range is about 30 bucks a piece. They are a 2.8 gram jar, 2.8 mils. So that is super, super tiny. You can see how very little that little palette spot is. And around 30 bucks Canadian for these. So you're look, looking probably 20 something in the US. And then... In comparison, we've got a whole pile from AliExpress here. These ones are three grams, so a little bit bigger than the Myth Mellow. These cost me $2.50. And then these ones here are a little bigger. And these ones cost me uh, just under five bucks. About $4.50 or so each. So, and these ones are bigger at five grams. Smaller, three grams, but still bigger than the Myth Mellow. Now, just looking at them, of course, this compact is much more luxurious. It looks very beautiful for a collection. They did come out with, I think, either 50 total or 50 glitter and then 50 cream opaque. So there was either 50 total or 100 total. I can't remember which it was. And you can see this glitter in here. That's really, really nice. There's a few. These ones are a little bit more with a hollow. And this one here has more of a iridescent kind of color changing shift, which is going to be more like these ones. So I am going to check them out and see whether there's a huge difference in quality. When it comes to ingredients, I can't really say because I do not know what Myth Milo does they say that they're vegan and that's about it that i can make out from this i don't know that myth mellow is necessarily a brand that's hema free or that many korean gels are i do know that a lot of brands from different discount places like aliexpress amazon and such that they do tend to be heavier on the chemicals not necessarily as safe to use but again caution just a lot of caution i am severely allergic to hema and I do notice that some of my products are much safer and easier for me to use than others. But I always wear gloves and I'm always very, very careful with what I'm doing and making sure everything is properly cured. So with that being said, they all have chemicals. That is exactly what gel polish is made up of. So I have got some watches to do and we are going to check out what these little beauties are going to look like. So typically what I do when I'm swatching is swatch out an entire collection all together at once kind of thing. This time, because of the comparison that I'm doing, uh, what I've decided instead is I've kind of grouped them um, in their kind of color-ish theme so that I can compare the different brands together as I'm doing them. So put, putting the like colors, the like styles together, and I'm going to swatch them out that way so that I can do the comparison one after the other and see kind of how they look as we go. So I will start with these adorable little purples right here and we'll see how that is. For these, you do need your own applicator brush. I don't think you have to worry about it being too fancy though, seeing as how this is a glitter that I'm doing. So I'm not overly worried about the quality of the brush that I'm using. This is my first experience using these. So let's see what it's like. It's really hard. It's very, very, very firm to dip into. Hmm. 
And usually when I'm doing swatches, I do the whole nail, but in this particular instance, because there's so little to them and because it's a glitter, I am just going to kind of do some on the tips and not necessarily worry about doing my whole entire nail. So it feels pretty sticky. This is the Myth Mellow. It's sticky applying. It is laying really nice and flat, but I, I don't know. It just feels kind of weird. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting something a little different, but I can't say what, so I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's a lot easier than trying to play with them loose. Maybe that's why it's so thick, stiff to move around because that's easier than if it's gloopy. And for the second coat, because I always like to do two, I'm going to do just the tip and I'm going to try and layer this up to give it a really good coverage. Kind of like a solid glitter, just like they've done here on the lid. I do feel like that's going to take three coats. Just because it's really hard to layer the glitters without shifting them constantly. Yeah, definitely going to take three coats because as I'm trying to shift them to get all nice and packed in there, they just keep moving around. So, so we'll have to go in with another coat still. So that's after two layers. Now I'm going to go in with a third layer. I'm almost wondering like if they've used a purple base in this or if they've just layered and layered and layered and layered because yeah I'm this is my third one and it's still not going solid which I guess with glitter is to be expected. Okay and I'm going to try one more. <laughs> I feel like well I guess it just depends on what you're looking for. I was going to say I'd feel like it go a long way if it had a like a jelly colored base so that you could more easily cover that up but that being said then for those that are just looking for that scattered glitter effect you'd be disappointed so I guess ideally you would go in with your own base of a similar color and then go over it with this and then it would fill in much much better and easier and you wouldn't be fussing with trying to fill the little holes with a piece of chunky glitter. Because even here with my fourth coat on the tip here, we do have near full coverage with just the little bit of the littlest bit of gaps. And it didn't get too thick and chunky and gross. So that's good. But it's still very fidgety. And it's probably very unrealistic for me to expect that it wouldn't be. I don't know why I did, but I was like, this will be the answer to all of my glitter nightmares. But alas, it does not quite seem so. All right. Okay, so I'm not doing any more. That's four. And that tip is pretty solid. Like there are a couple little spots. You might be able to see easier through here. A little couple spots that are a hole. But like I said, if you'd used a purple under there, even like a glass gel or something that would fill right in and you wouldn't notice it. So that's okay. So I'll cure that. That'll be done. So now in comparison, it's a little different because this one looks like it has an opal jelly inside it, but this one is the AliExpress brand. Cost a couple bucks. Oh, this one is much creamier. Like it doesn't, uh, it's not as stiff and solid as the other one was. Okay, yeah, see. My bad. <laughs> this one does not compare. This is very much just a kind of like a creamy opal color. Ooh, it's really cool and really pretty. And actually, I do have something else that I could compare this to. Barbie Mirage solid opal gel that is more like this. I absolutely love those, but again, they were on the expensive side. So yeah, very Aurora Opal color shifting. Makes me wonder if they're all going to be like that. So I'm going to go in with a second coat. So this polish is lovely, but I don't believe that you would necessarily need it in a solid, that that's of any benefit, but it is a beautiful color in effect. All right, so here it is coated with two coats. You can see it's opal, so it's 
you know, hard to see much of anything but a sheen when it's over clear or white, but you put that black base and you get a much different effect. Okay, so these two I'm hoping are a much more fair comparison. You can see taking a look at them, one of them, the Myth Mellow does have bigger chunks, bigger, thicker, or bigger glitters than this one. Oh, that is not going to lift off nicely. But basically, they seem like they might be really similar. This one's just got a much smaller glitter to it than the cake gel. Okay, so Myth Mellow first. I feel like there is a, in this Myth Mellow, there is a lot of gel in this particular one, not a whole lot of glitters. I'm digging in there and just pulling out a lot of gel with no glitter in it. You can see there's very few in there. Here I'm going to go in with the second coat of the cake gel. And again, I'm trying to pick up glitters, but not a whole lot coming. Just curious how deep this is. Yeah, it only goes about halfway up my brush. It's not going to last very long. <laughs> this is pretty though. It would make for like a really cool accent. Gives really the same effect as this one does under black or over black. Clean this up after, but for the moment, let's just try this. Let's see what we got. So this is the AliExpress brand and not so bad. A lot more glitters in it than the Myth Mellow. They're much smaller, but it still has a lot more in it. And here I'm going to go with the second coat of the alley. If I can safely get in here. As far as application, they feel about the same. Doesn't seem to be much difference. They're both about the same thickness. They both spread about evenly. Pull that away. Okay, so here's the two of them. Very similar style, just this one's big and chunky. They applied pretty much the same. They did not seem all that different to me, other than the obvious size. Okay, so these ones are the blues. I'm hoping we have a much closer comparison this time. We'll see. I'm going to start with the AliExpress band. This one looks like it's a glitter, just a glitter, yeah, with hollow. Pretty nice. The one thing this stuff is kind of giving me an idea about is doing loose glitters instead of in a base or a top coat, trying those really thick, I'm thinking like Crazy Top, if you're familiar with that, the really much thicker types of uh, gels. Not solid, but much, much thicker base. And uh, the like thicker encapsulating top gels. It does seem somewhat easier to work when it's thicker like this than when you're chasing it around in a thinner base coat. Like it lays down nicer. You're not struggling with quite as much lumping. Okay, so second coat of the alley. Now the Myth Mellow. I feel like this one might be the closest. I could be wrong though. I am wrong. This has silver. Yeah, you can see it there. <laughs> Silly me. So this is a small blue glitter, a fine blue glitter with big silver hexes. Maybe the next one will be closer. It's hard to tell when you're looking online and you're 
hoping that things are going to match and be similar and they just aren't. And then this last Myth Millow here. This looks more green than blue, but it's kind of a mix. Aqua, teal, that kind of thing. It's so pretty. Like, so pretty. I'm just going to try and load up this tip. But this one's beautiful. I really like it. I'm going to compare this to some of my... I have a pixie glitter from Luxa Polish that makes me think of this. Just gorgeous. This one does have a bit of a jelly colored base, just a little bit of a hint of pink, so it does cover a little better than the other glitter one from Myth Mill that I did that had a completely clear base. This one I'm trying to again do solid tip, and it's a little easier. This is only the third coat, and it's that jelly base that's that colored jelly base that's helping. Oh, again, this is that beautiful hollow sparkle, the hollow glitter. I think the other one's not a hollow, it's just a regular color. It's just hard to see the hollow when it's in here. You really notice it once it's on your swatch, but you don't notice it down in here. I really like these hollow ones. Quite sure y'all are going to know exactly what I'm going to say at the end of this. And once again here, I was thinking I'd have a co close comparison, but no. This is just a straight glitter, and this one's very much hollow. It's rather strange, the green does not have the jelly base either. Purple didn't, the green didn't, but the pink had a jelly base. So to me, that's a little odd that they weren't consistent, because these are all identical looking styles of glitter. So you would have thought that if one of them had a colored jelly base, that all of the style would. But that's not the case. So this is a hollow look to it. Looks like that there is a slow, maybe a slight hint of pink in the jelly base. I don't know, maybe it's just picking up color from the glitters. It's really hard to tell. Yeah, it might be clear. It's hard to tell. <laughs> And I don't believe that these ones are going to be similar, but that's what's left.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is see, they have a really good profile on them. They don't seem overly thick. And I'm gonna see just how easy it is to go in with just a rubber base. Rubber base is being thicker than a typical base and see if any encapsulation is necessary because that typically is the kicker. When you're doing loose glitters, you really have to encapsulate a lot of times filing over them because they end up kind of junky. So not perfectly smoothed out here, but quite nice. I bet you if I went in with a builder, it would be just fine. Stick around to the end if you want to see some really simple, cool. quick and easy nail art. All right, so here they all are all top coated. And for some of the opalescent aura, Aurora type ones, I've gone and put a black tip on them so that you can see the difference. So out of all of them, the only ones that I found that were really, really, really similar, very, very, very close is this here. It's the hollow look. The biggest difference being that with the Myth Milo, you have bigger hexes and some very small glitter, very fine. And then with the Alley brand, they there are some little bits of hexes in them, but there's also just shards. But you get pretty much the same effect. They're both a hollow. Gotta say the hollow on the Myth Mello is a better effect, as you can see, than the one on the AliExpress brand. There is a hollow effect there, but it's not nearly as noticeable as the Myth Mello. So those are the only ones that were really, really, really similar. Then, as you can see here, the pink Myth Mello really did have a jelly base in it that was very, very pink. But the almost identical style in the purple and the green, yeah, no jelly, no color jelly base. So that was interesting. And then these are the opalescent type that were the Alley brand. And just for comparison, I do have, these are my Barbie Mirage. So what do we got here? Pink and purple. And you can see very, very similar colors, a little bit different. And the Alley brand is much finer particles, but very similar effects. And the Barbie Mirage were very expensive. I think it was a five piece set for somewhere over a hundred bucks. And of course these Alley are what would I say? Two dollars, fifty cents, <laughs> something like that. So it's like a hundred times different. So Barbie Mirage, you're looking at twenty something a pot, I'm pretty sure. And mind you, the amount is a lot more in the Barbie, Barbie Mirage. These are seven grams. So that's what they end up looking like. It's in a pot, but it applies very much the same. These have just gone and put them into a compact. So this is three grams. This is seven, so it's about two and a half times, but these are only like $2.50. So even three of them are only gonna cost you $7.50. So, and the effect is nearly identical. So, so nice. So it's really nice to find an, a less expensive alternative for those because there's something I really recommend. They're just, they're beautiful. They do such amazing effects. This is the rest of the Barbie Mirage set. They do amazing effects on your nail art. And then these ones here, and we've got Cake Gel in the middle, with Milo in the middle, and the Alley on the outsides. You can see it has a big difference when it's over black, it turns like gold and greenish. But then without the black, you've got like clear with this one's blues and purples and shifting. This one's pinks and blues and shifting. Now these two look the most similar, except this one's got a lot more blue in it. And they applied almost identical. This one has more glitters in it than the Myth Milo did. And they're about the same kind of glitter. The Myth Milo has a little bit bigger hexes, but I mean, really 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 tough to tell and then the last comparisons I have so these are lugs polished flakes again they're only on black so you don't get to see but they look they do the same effect over clear where it's just that kind of aurora look and although these colors are a little bit different they are 
a very similar effect for your nail art. And then last but not least, I have a few different glitters that are really, really nice. And I have swatched. These are Luxa Polish glitters. And you can see they end up being like quite thick and chunky. Well, not too bad. Um, on these ones that I just swatched today, I did do a couple of them with a rubber base and then a top coat just to get the idea of if you would need to file or not. If you were being very, very careful when you're applying them, regardless of the Alley brand or the Myth Miller brand, if you're being really careful and you're flattening it before you cure, then chances are you can get away with a rubber base and just a top coat. Let's see if I can get that to... Because it came out really quite smooth. As long as you don't have a random chunk sticking up, which I think I did in one of them, because I wasn't paying that much attention. For the most part, they laid down quite nicely. You might want to give them a buff still just because they'll be nice and smooth but you could probably do a few top coats and cover over them so these are the luxa that i was saying that these are a loose glitter that i've done encapsulated kind of in a uh, just for swatches so that i could see what they look like and you can see there's like a similar effect here we go so here's the myth Milo. these are different colors but like geez that's almost identical it's like the same glitter mix, different color, same glitter mix, just, you know, put into a solid gel. So and these ones are the shard style. So these look very similar. Again, not color wise, but so there you go. I hope you enjoyed checking these out. My final thoughts are don't buy Myth Mellow. <laughs> um, I did find that, you know, for $2.50 or $4. Pretty good deal, especially if you don't have a ton of loose glitters already to work with, or if you struggle with loose glitters and encapsulating and mixing them into a base or any of those kinds of things, then it might be a good idea to pick up some of these on Alley and give them a play. You might find that you really enjoy them and it's a lot easier than dealing with a glitter. These Aurora opal types are I would say a must have. $2.50, go get them. Because <laughs> this is something that you will really, really enjoy using and is well worth it. But the Myth Mellow is a bust. I gotta say, I'm so glad I didn't get a whole pile more of them because they're just not good enough for the price. <laughs> like, you know, they just did not do, they didn't blow my mind compared to the Alley brand. Like it just, it applied so similar. It, it, it wasn't any better. And a lot of times you'll find that, you know, a Korean gel brand is a lot better than a really cheap knockoff. So there you are. I got to say, this is a whole lot of fun and did not turn out as I expected. <laughs> I wasted my money, so maybe you won't have to. <laughs> Go pick up some Alley brands and skip the Myth Milo cake gels. They really look pretty. They're really deceiving on how lovely they might be. But for the price point, it's a bust for me. If you're enjoying these videos, do me a solid, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget the notification bell if you want to find out what's coming up next. Now let's bring on the nail art.
hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's always a pleasure having everyone here. Until next time, don't forget to love your nails. <laughs>